here the brand new 2013 model RMZ250. A host of changes for this year. We'll start off with the separate function fork. We've got spring on one side, cartridge on the other. This is the second generation of the SFF fork. This is 48 mil as opposed to the 47 mil. We've also got a different shock linkage, a new transmission. We've got some bold new graphics, of course, and some slightly different plastics. Overall, a great package, a lot of cool new things. Well, the new RMZ250, a great bike. Suzuki haven't had to reinvent the wheel, that's for sure. They've always done a good 250 four-stroke, and once again, this is the same situation. First thing I noticed about this 2013 RMZ250 is the looks. It looks fantastic with the new plastics, the new graphics, the new black guard and the new red seat looks absolutely perfect. Now we've, uh, we've actually tested these second generation separate function forks before. How did you find them this time? Good, excellent, excellent. We have done a couple of tests where they weren't really up to speed, but this one was excellent. Yeah, I think on the Suzuki it's set up really well uh, and, and I found it, it tracked really nicely on the front end. Here at the Nunawading track, it's a very short, sharp, intense type of track. So it enables the engine to really come into its own. A lot of bottom end, good mid-range, good top end, but it's really the bottom end that I notice uh, where this engine comes into its own. One thing I did find about the, uh, the bottom end, it was a little bit boggy off the bottom on some of the corners here for my weight. It's probably a little bit to do with my, uh, my size, but in saying that, you can adjust the power range with the different couplers. They don't feel super skinny between your legs, but hey, we don't want a bike that's too slim anyway. You want something that you can grip a hold of and make sure it doesn't step out to the side when you hit those whoops or those gnarly bumps. Now you can imagine it's a little bit uh, hard pack and slippery today. The sun's shining, which is quite rare here in Melbourne. Did you find it a little bit tricky being uh, so slick and a little bit on the dry side? No, not at all, not at all. The front steered exactly where you wanted it to go and the back tracked. If you wanted it to slip out, you give it a little bit more throttle and that's what it did. Very, very simple, even though it's hard and slippery, no problem at all. What stands out as the, uh, as the big tick of the box? It's really difficult to put that into one sentence, but the whole bike, the suspension, brakes, and just its ability to stop and turn was fabulous. Look, my favourite part about this bike is its agility. Its ability to, to be able to turn on a dime, you just turn and point, and it pretty much does whatever you tell it to without any argument. The gear shift, I find, is a little bit too close to the foot peg, the gap between the foot peg and the gear shift. Um, I'm on size 11 boots, and for me, it's a little bit too close and I get jammed up just a little bit. Grips, not a massive fan of the stock Suzuki grips, but hey, who keeps stock grips on their bike nowadays anyway? The thing I really enjoyed about riding this RMZ250 was it handled absolutely superbly. With the brakes and the suspension and the motor, it's just a perfect package. You don't have to do anything to it to enjoy yourself. For all your insurance needs, contact QBE, the Motorcycle Insurance Specialist.